Hey art friends, in this video I thought it would be fun to celebrate spring by learning how to draw a watering can full of flowers. I hope you're going to follow along with me. Let's get started. Let's first draw the main shape to our watering can. We're going to draw the top. I'm going to draw it in the middle of my paper and I'm going to draw it a little to the right so that we have room for the spout on the left. Then we're going to draw the sides of the can coming down and we'll draw the same curve and diagonal line on the other side but going the other direction. Then let's draw the very bottom of the can. We'll draw a curve or you could draw a straight line connecting those two sides together. Then let's draw the spout. We're going to start here and draw a diagonal line coming up. Then we're going to leave a little space and we'll draw another diagonal line but we're going to come down further on the main shape. Then let's draw the spout. We're going to draw a curve to connect those two diagonal lines and then we can draw a straight line across. Next let's draw the handle on the right side. We're going to draw a curve that comes out from the top down to the bottom and then let's repeat that same curve inside. There we go. There's the main shape of our watering can. Now we can add even more decorations, but let's add a funny face to the watering can. <laughs> We're going to draw a smile and you could change your funny face any way you want. I'm going to draw it curving down like this and then down at the bottom. Looks like the letter J. We could also add teeth. I'm going to draw teeth down here also and a tongue sticking out. My watering can is really excited, <laughs> especially for spring, because it just snowed yesterday where I live, and I'm really excited for spring. Okay, then we're going to color in the top shape and also the bottom shape of the mouth. Now let's draw the eyes. I'm going to draw a circle on the left and the same size circle on the right. Then let's add our favorite highlights in the top left of each eye, and then we'll color in the big circle but leave that little circle white. I also added a little cheek line. You could add even more things like eyelashes or change the eyes to make them completely different. That part I also sped up, so remember to pause the video if you need extra time. Especially in this video where I'm just drawing by myself here in the studio, this lesson might go a little faster than usual. All right, let's draw flowers coming out of the watering can. First, let's draw the top of our flowers. I'm gonna draw the letter U and Let's draw a couple letter U's. I'm going to change how tall they are, maybe even how big. This one could be a little smaller. And let's do one more sticking out over here. Okay, now let's change these flowers to be different. So this one, I'm going to draw a zigzag line at the top. And on this one, we could draw individual petals. So I'm going to draw a curve that comes down like this, another one here, and then let's draw one right in the middle. Now on this one, we could draw the same as one of the other ones. Maybe we'll draw zigzag lines, but a little bit taller than this one. And then on the last one, let's draw a curve like this. We'll connect another curve, and then we'll draw the inside of the flower like that. Next, let's draw the stems. We can draw them coming down from each of the flowers into the watering can. And then we can also draw the leaves. I'm going to draw a big leaf or a big curve coming out. Then we'll curve back in. Let's add another leaf on the other side. Then let's skip this flower and add leaves on this one. Then let's add leaves on the other two flowers, except we're going to try to draw them behind the first leaves that we drew to make it look more 3D and use overlapping. So I'm going to draw this one. It's a little tricky. You can also leave this part off or just change the drawing and make it look any way you want. So I'm going to add another leaf here. This one's behind the flower and also the leaves. There we go. That looks really cool. Now you could add even more flowers or even some butterflies or bees. You can add whatever you want to finish your drawing but I think this looks really cool. Let's color it. This part will fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video if you want to match my same coloring. You can also color your drawings any way you want. All right, let's speed things up. We 
did it. We finished drawing and coloring our watering can with flowers. I also added extra details like raindrops. You can add even more things to your drawing like grass or even a full background. I think it would look really cool if you added even more flowers. I used my alcohol-based markers to color with, but you can use whatever you have at home or in the classroom, like colored pencils, oil pastels, or even crayons. I hope you had a lot of fun following along with me and drawing a watering can, and I hope you take extra time to color your drawings and add more things to your drawing. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye.